Dollars. Grab a student mic. I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, oh, my oh my gosh, I did not know. You're right. Okay, voice is off. Oops. That's my thing. Oops. Okay, there he is. But can we do this for a minute? Hi. Hello. Oh, we can't hear you. Let's see. Maybe it's my end. Check, check. Oh, can't hear you yet. Hello. Ah. Oh, okay. Now we got it. Okay. So, how are the How are you, students? How are we? Just look at and hold. Hi. The first thing you know this. Your students can read it. Can you see it? No, they don't, they're not recognizing anything. Okay, can you can you see? Oh, now can you read it? Yeah. Everest and Nepal. That's right. All right. So uh, Nepal is a country of Mount Everest. Yeah, Mount Everest is here in Nepal. The so number one. And number two, this is uh, Nepal is the birthplace of Gautam Buddha. Have you heard about Buddha? Buddha? Have you heard about yeah, Buddha? Yeah, Buddha. No. Have any of you heard about okay. Buddha? Okay. No. Okay. Have you heard about Buddhism? So yeah, this I is haven't. one of the one of the religion. So Buddha was born in Nepal. Yes. Okay. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then the third thing, you know, Nepal is the second largest uh, uh, rich country in water resources. Rich country in water resources. Cool. Second largest. Second largest. Second largest. Second largest. The first one is Brazil, you know that. Brazil, hmm, interesting. It's the first, the yeah, richest country in water resources. And Nepal is the second richest country in water resources. And Nepal is uh, a small, beautiful, uh, lots of Himalayas, mountains. You know, more than, you know, 10 uh, are there in Nepal which are uh, Thousand meters. You broke up on that last one. Can you tell us that one more time? Okay. More than 10 mountains. 10 mountains. We are higher than 8,000 meters. Which are higher than 8,000 meters. Okay. Oh, very okay. cool. Pretty tall. And, uh, so Nepal, uh, we had, uh, you know, king uh, before uh, 2006, uh, but now Nepal is a Republican country. Interesting. Okay. So, and Nepal is a landlocked country which lies between India and China, if you can find it in the world. All right, we'll look that up today on our map. Okay, how old are the kids? Tell them, McKenna. Pop up there, babe. How old are you? How old are you? Tell I'm what nine. Grade you? Okay. Okay. So, what grade are we in? Fourth. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can you explain to him what you're doing for your junior star project? And, and, and okay, I'm, you know, still in. Would you like to hear something about my child? Sure. Okay. Has your teacher said anything to you about me? Has nope. said anything? Okay. So I'm also a teacher from Nepal. 
So I run a small school uh, in the rural area here. And it is uh, just a K-5 school. But we have very two students, uh, but uh, I, they are very cute. You know? They love learning English. Mm -hmm. No, they want to learn English. <laughs> Our first language is Nepali. Nepali. Nepali, yeah. We, we speak Nepali. It is our mother tongue. And national language too. And But uh, nowadays, you know, children love to read English. Interesting. You know, English is dominating the world. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so uh, can you, uh, what time is it there now? Yeah, can you tell me? Yeah, I'm working on my genius hour and it's about like other countries and like mm -hmm. what, like some facts about it. So it would kind of be like if I was talking about India, then I, mm -hmm. it's like, I would collect facts about it and kind of put it into this little Prezi. So it sounds, it's kind of interesting. Like Russia has 11 time zones. So that's a lot. Okay. That's interesting. So what's the time there right now? What's the time? Time there? 8.56. In the morning. Well, it's evening here. So it's... Mm, it's 7.41 p.m. Cool. <laughs> so the time difference is very huge. Otherwise, I would love to connect my students with you. You know, it would be very interesting. Uh, but time difference is, uh, is big, and our students do not have you know, internet access at home. Luckily, I have, we have a school here. Right now, I am using my computer at a school, and I live in the same house. That's interesting. So you live at the school. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm using this, you know, room for a school too because the school the classrooms are just behind this building. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Well, thank you so very much, McKenna. What would you like to say to him? Thank you. You are welcome, and hope to connect with you time and again. So you can collect some questions about Nepal if you would like to know something. So I will be available to answer you. I'll, I would be very happy. Thank you very much. Oh, you know what? I didn't even tell them your name. Could you go ahead and tell it to them? Okay, I'm Govinda. I'm, I'm 41 years old. I have been teaching for the last 15, more than 15 years. So I love working with children like you, very young children. I love to work with them and they are very cute and very, you know, jolly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so very much, Gavinda. We really appreciate it. It's my pleasure to you know, talk to you all. Okay, have a nice day, children. Uh, you too. Thank you. What do we say? Thank you. Bye. 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 Did you video that, Miss Gardner? I did video it, so she can use it for her.